Want to know how to sell quickly and for a large profit? Well, it takes more than luck to make this happen. It involves careful planning and knowing how to professionally prepare your home to convince buyers to pull out their checkbooks. Hi, I'm Tanya Ojek with Our East Bay Home, brokered by eXp Realty. And as your local real estate expert, I care about the homeowners in our community. Because I care, I want to pass on some useful information to homeowners like yourself to help you on how to prepare your home for sale. There are a lot of moving parts to make your sale a successful one from start to finish. So my hope is that I can contribute to your success and make your FISBO experience a great one. Here are five items to help your home shine about the competition. One, disassociate from your house. Letting go of your home can be difficult. You've lived there possibly for years and the house holds many memories. To detach from it emotionally, you must realize that without you in it, the house is just a shell to be filled by some other occupants. Look to the future where you can make new memories in your next home. Sever your emotional attachment to the house by realizing that the house is about the occupants who live there, not just the space or the building. You take home with you in your heart. Your next house will feel like home before you know it because you'll be personalizing your space and creating new memories. Depersonalize your home. Pack up your personal photographs, family heirlooms, and other objects and clutter that might distract potential buyers and hurt a possible sale. You'll want to present buyers with an impersonal, clean environment so they can imagine the home perhaps decorated with their own photographs, furniture, and art objects. Depersonalizing your home makes it easier for potential buyers to visualize how the home might look filled with their things. Regarding furniture, only leave understated pieces that are not a distraction and don't create an unintended impression. For example, it would be difficult for a buyer to visualize their own antique furnishings in a place uh, of the existing zebra couch, bright yellow chair, and bear rug. <laughs> the goal is to make it easy for potential buyer to see the house as their future home. Declutter your house. People tend to collect an amazing quantity of items over the years. Reasons for keeping items include emotional attachment, an intention to reuse or fix the items in the future, or a wish to pass them on to others. However, for many items, if you haven't used them in over a year, check it, you probably don't need them. Disregard or discard items in a useful way by donating them to charity or nonprofit organization like Goodwill or Salvation Army. These items not only help those in need, but some are tax deductible. For items that aren't accepted, call your garbage service. For example, Waste Management gives you a free annual bulky pickup and sometimes there are quarterly drop-offs if you go directly to the dump. Just search their website or call them. Also remove books from bookcases and other knickknacks and clean everything off your kitchen counters. Essential items that you use daily can be tucked away in small boxes that you can stick in the closet when they're not in use. Consider this process an efficient start to your practice. Remember, less is always more when selling and thinking about stuff in your home. Four, you'll also want to organize bedroom closets and storage cabinets. Buyers are going to be curious about storage space and they're going to want to look in the closets and the cabinets. It's important to ensure that these are organized because it sends a negative message if your storage spaces are totally cluttered with the items falling out. And when a buyer sees everything organized down to the last detail, it shows that you take care of your possessions and likely took good care of the house. In the kitchen cabinets, alphabetize your spice jars, neatly, neatly stack your dishes, and turn the coffee cup handles so that they're facing the same way. In the closet, the shirts should be buttoned and hung together and shoes should be lined up neatly. Be sure the home is professionally cleaned and windows clean and bright. Five, consider renting a storage unit. Almost every home shows better with less furniture, so remove pieces that block or hamper paths and walkways and put them in the storage along with distracting furniture, artwork, and empty bookcases. Removing extra leaves from your dining room table will make the room look larger. Leave just enough furniture to showcase the room's purpose with plenty of room for buyers to walk around and move around in. This is only the beginning of the FISBO process. Stay tuned to the next part of this series and get five more tips in part two. We have built great relationships with industry professionals that can assist with decluttering, cleaning, repairing, and staging your house so that your home makes the best first impression to buyers. If you find that you need assistance with this whole process, give me a call and I would love to partner with you and give you the best possible outcome for your home sale. Feel free to reach out anytime. Let's connect and talk real estate. Let's redefine possibility and I can help you. 
Feel free to reach out at any time. This is Tanya Ojak with Ari's Bay Home, brokered by AXP Realty, putting people before profit.